The season so far has been pretty good. Uh, it's been kind of up and down, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, now that the season started, uh, we started off beginning of the year doing a lot of a lot of motos, a lot of long long lap motos on the Supercross track. Now we pretty much just uh, get out there, put in some some five five six lap sprints to stay on the bike, stay fresh, keep ourselves comfortable, and uh, just light training through the week. My goals for the rest of the 2015 East Coast Supercross series are to put in the main as much as possible, do my best in qualifying, uh, try to better myself every single week, and then uh, get good starts and put it in the show, put in 20 laps at the end of the night. season so far it's definitely had a lot of ups and downs um, it's been different you know from just going straight to Supercross um, trying to learn as much as possible and just trying to work all the kinks out coming into my rookie season of Supercross it's just so so much different than the amateurs you know um, the intensity is just so much higher and I learned that the gate drop is everything and then just trying to slow everything down in your head and just trying to be calm and patient that's that's really what I think you need to be doing for Supercross is just be patient and let the race come to you and try to not rush everything, anything. My goals for the remainder of the 2015 Washington East Coast Supercross would be try to try to qualify straight from the heat race into the main and then just try to eliminate all the mistakes that we've been making, get better starts than we have been and um, just try to put it all together, you know, just try to let the race come to us and try to break some top tens, that's what I'd like to do. So try to make it happen.